Hello scholars, welcome back to the Kemet Masai Academy. What we're looking at today is intervals of time. How much time does it take between one activity and another activity? Or if we know when we started a particular activity and how long it took, we want to find out when did it end? Or if we know when it ended and knew how long it took, when did it begin? All right, so that's what we're going to be looking at right now. So let's see. Paul left home at 2 p.m. And when he got to the big tree, 45 minutes had passed, right? So he left home at 2 p.m., 2 in the afternoon. When he got to the big tree and looked at his watch, he realized that 45 minutes had gone. So it took him 45 minutes from home to the big tree. He rested under the tree. He said, you know what, I'm a little tired, I'm just going to rest a bit. He sat under the tree, he rested for 20 minutes, and then he walked for a further 23 minutes to school. So Paul is one of those students who has a long commute to school, and he actually walks. He walks that way. So sometimes, you know, your parents or grandparents would tell you about when they were growing up, they had to walk a long distance to school. Some children still have to do that. Many of us know we get chauffeur driven to school, we get to school on the school bus or a taxi or whatever. Some children still have a pretty rough time. So Paul is one of those guys who has to walk to school. He started, he left home at 2 p.m. I guess he's on the evening shift, right? Left home at 2 p.m. So that's 2 p.m. And he walked for 45 minutes. 45 minutes took him to the big tree. So we know we need to add that 45 minutes to when he started. He rested for 20 minutes. We're also going to need to add that 20 minutes that he rested for. Because time is still going while he's resting, right? And then he walks for another 23 minutes. We're going to add all those minutes. We can add them together. You could do it separately. Add the 45 to the two hours, then the 20 minutes to that, then the 23. But we can, we can actually add this. The thing though to remember, when you're adding minutes and hours, remember 60 minutes make one hour. So once we get 59, once we pass 59 minutes, we can no longer leave it under the minutes. We have to transfer it to hours. That's the thing we have to remember. So once it touched 60, that's one full hour, we're going to bring it over. And if, it, if, it, if we get two full hours, let's say we get 120, that's two full hours. 180, three full hours. So that's the thing we have to remember. So when we add these, we get 5 and 3, 8, 4 and 2, 6 and 2, 8. 88 minutes, we can't leave that under the minutes. So we have to see how many groups of 60 we can take. Well, it's only one group of 60 can come out of 88, and that leaves back 28. Bring this one group of 60 over here as one hour, and that's going to be 3. So it's actually, he arrived at school at 3.28 p.m. Okay, 3.28 p.m. So he left home at 2 p.m. The 45 minutes, that would be the 2.45 or quarter to 3. The 20 minutes would be 5 past 3. And then the extra 23 minutes of walking, that's 28 past 3, 328. All right, Sharon left the supermarket at 10.25 a.m. It took her 18 minutes to walk home. So she was at the supermarket. She left at 10.25 in the morning. She took her 18 minutes to get home. So she lives pretty close to the supermarket. But... When she got home, as soon as she got home, she realized that she had forgotten to get the bread. You know how important the bread is. Maybe she needed to make a sandwich or something, so she had to go back for the bread. 
So at what time did she arrive back at the supermarket? So there are two ways we could do this. We know she left the supermarket at 10.25. It took her 18 minutes to walk home and another 18 minutes to go back to the supermarket. So when we add those, 8 and 8, 16 and 5, 21, 2 and 2, 4, 5, 61. We know we're supposed to take out 60 minutes out of, we can't leave 61 under the minutes. Remember, that's hours, minutes. We can't leave 61. So we have to take out the group of 60. That leaves one minute. So that's 11.01. But we could also do it another way because she started at 10.25. She walking to home and she's going at the same pace. So we're taking it for granted that she's taking the same 18 minutes back as she took from the supermarket. So we, can say, we could have said the 18 minutes times 2. Supermarket to home, home to supermarket. 18 minutes times 2 which will give 36 minutes. We could have just added that 36 minutes, right? And we'd still get our 61, still have to take out the 60 minutes, still have to carry that. So we'd get our 11.01. Is that a.m. or p.m.? It's still morning. It don't pass noon yet. It's 11.01 a.m. It's still in the morning. So she has time to get our bread and then go back home so it's going to take her another 18 minutes to go back. She's probably going to be a little tired. Luckily, she'll be able to make her sandwich and regain some of that energy. Our right, number three, how many minutes ela ela elapsed between 10.38 on Monday night? So that's 10.38 p.m. Monday night. And 7.20 on Tuesday morning. How many minutes? So they want the answer in minutes. How many minutes elapsed between 10.38 on Monday night and 7.20 on Tuesday morning? So remember, we, we, we're going to cross over from Monday night to Tuesday morning. We're going up to 12 midnight. And then add the additional hours from midnight to the 7.20. So we know it's 7 hours and 20 minutes from midnight. So we know this, we're going to need to add this. But how many minutes from 10.38 p.m. to midnight? So midnight is... We could work it as... Well, we could work it in army time, but let's just work it as the 12. So 12 midnight, take away the 10.38. So that's hours, minutes, right? Hours, minutes. So we can't take 38 from zero minutes. We're going to take one out of the 12. And remember that's hours now we're transferring to minutes. So that's 60 minutes. We're taking the 38 from the 60 minutes. This one hour that we took out of the 12, we can't carry it as one. Remember, it's hours and minutes. We have to carry it as 60 minutes. All right, so 38 from 60, that's 22. 22 minutes, and that's one hour there. One hour, 22 minutes. And we're adding that to the 7 hours, 20 minutes, from midnight to 7.20. Okay, so that's two, that's what that's eight hours and 42 minutes. But they want it all in minutes, right? Eight hours, 42 minutes. We know the eight hours is going to be eight times 60 if we're changing that to minutes. So 60 times eight, that's 480 plus the 42 minutes. 522 minutes because they said they wanted the answer just in minutes okay just in minutes so 
let's recap what we did for this question because there's a um we have to kind of split it in two because we're moving from one day the the, the 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 evening hours or the night hours of one day into another day so we're crossing the territory right so we actually had to work how many minutes from the 10 38 to midnight on monday night midnight so that's 12 midnight and but when we're subtracting we're taking minutes from hours we when we have to take one hour to transfer it to minutes remember it's not it's not one we're not working in the decimal system like we normally do this is a 60 a base 60 system that we, we use it because 60 minutes make one hour so if we take one hour we have to carry it over as 60 minutes so 60 minutes take away 38 minutes that's 22 minutes and then the 10 from 11 that's one hour 22 minutes then now the additional seven hours and 20 minutes from midnight to 7 20 in the morning on tuesday in all eight hours and 42 minutes which would have been our answer eight hours 42 minutes but they said they want the answer just in minutes so that's why we did this additional step we know that 60 minutes make one hour so eight hours is 60 times eight 480 minutes plus the 42 minutes that's 522 minutes look to see if they want the answer in hours and minutes or just minutes if they had said express it just as hours we'd have to express the 48 as a fraction or decimal of the 60 along with the 8 as a whole number right in hours all right so let's look at the final problem dad started mowing the lawn at 9 37 a.m so that's in the morning on a particular day and he completed he completed the task at 1 20 p.m so 12 noon has passed how long did it take so we're actually going to split it again into two parts from the 9 37 to 12 noon see how long and they, did, they didn't say they want the answer in minutes this time so we can give them in hours and minutes so between 9 37 and 12 noon we're going to work out how long that is and then just add the one hour and 20 minutes which would have taken him from 12 noon to 1 20 pm all right so for so the 12 noon minus the 9 37 again we're taking one and bring it as 60 minutes and then we take the 37 minutes from that so that's two hours and 23 minutes and then we just have to add the one hour and 20 minutes that would have taken it up to all right so that's three four three so that's three hours 43 minutes in all it took that almost four hours it's a big lawn either it's a big lawn or dad was stopping you know every minute to rest or to eat or to drink some juice he's in the hot sun he's going to replenish his his um whether water or juice or the machine probably was just slow but whatever was the case it took dad three hours and 43 minutes so he started at 9 37 and he completed the whole task at 1 20 p.m 9 37 in the morning so we have to break it in whenever there's a transition between night to morning or a.m to p.m that kind of thing it's best if you break it into two subtract the hours of the first half from the 12 and then you add the, the rest so remember when you're having to, to take one hour we bring it over 60 minutes and then we subtract the minutes that's the important part to remember for this all right so 
we took the one the one hour from the 12 leave 11 and bring it over here as 60 and then we subtract so we got two hours and 23 minutes added it to the one hour and 20 minutes and in all three hours and 43 minutes that took all right so that's it for intervals of time right just remember if you're adding you can't put more than 59 minutes because 60 minutes make one hour. Once it gets to 60, you have to transfer it. You have to see how many groups of 60 you can take, transfer it to the hours. If you're borrowing one hour, transfer it as 60 minutes. And you should be fine after that, okay? So remember also to look if the person stopped to rest or to do something in between. You still have to count that time because time is still passing. Unless the question specifically said, ignore the time that they rested. So you have to read carefully, right? All right, so if you have been helped by this video, just drop a line in the comments to say thank you, miss, and share the video so other students can benefit just like you benefited. Remember, there was a time when you didn't know about this channel. Someone shared it so you could find out. So do the, the, the same favor to another child share the video so they can benefit as well and if you have not subscribed to the channel now would be a great time to do so and click that bell so you'll be notified as soon as another video comes out we are we're, we're reeling them out very fast so you have to keep up stay on top of things if you don't see the video you're looking for just let me know in the comments if you have a particular topic you want me to do a video on, I'll certainly do that for you. As soon as you let me know, I'll be on the job. Okay, my scholars, take care. I'll see you in the next video.